Heidi Easley here, Texas Art and Soul, and I am going to be making a bow for my little snowman guy. So I've had a lot of people um, message me asking me for the template for this. They're asking me for um, rights to this painting. A lot of a lot of questions revolving that painting, but I want to tell you, um, we're gonna have this available in paint party headquarters. So if you're one of those people that have really been wanting it, um, just put a yes in the comments. Um, and then also, so this is something brand new. I'm so excited about sharing this with y'all. So paint party business planner, the perfect paint party business planner. And um, you can, hey guys, go ahead and say hi when you get on. Um, am I looking at the camera? I am, I wish I could show y'all what is going on from this angle, but I have this new setup and my iPad is like not fitting perfectly. And so I have like a string wrapped around it. It's, it's very, very messed up right now. So I'm hoping it does not fall while I'm talking, but I'm going to be making a bow for this little guy. Oh, hold on. The tree wants to come out. The truck and tree gets excited. Um, I'm going to be making a bow for this guy. I'm going to show you an easy, easy bow to make for him. And then also, if you want a chance to win, this has not been released. Like, I literally, like, I created this. And um, we just, you know, all of the stuff in there about your um, paint party business planner on, you know, how to do your, um, your um, dates. All of, I mean, there's so much good stuff. It hasn't even been released, okay? Um, to anybody, but I'm gonna give one copy away. So all you have to do to get this is go ahead and just put a comment in the comments, any comment, and um, maybe put planner if you want, and then it's going to send you a little Autobot, and then that Autobot is going to ask um, if you want a chance to win this, and then you have to enter your email, and then you can go to your email and enter to win. So I'm going to tell the winner of this, and. Y'all know how I do. I will probably send a bunch of other fun stuff with it, not just the planner. So if you want to enter to win, make sure you enter to win. Um, and then I'm going to announce the winner of this on September 15th, live at 7 p.m. And then I will mail this to you, a printed version. Nobody has this yet. I just got these in today. I am so excited about this. So um, those of you that are in Paint Party headquarters, Go ahead and just put PPHQ sister. Y'all know what to do. And then I'm going to show y'all a simple bow. Okay, so when I go to paint parties and I teach something like this, again, those of y'all that have been asking for the template on this, you can get the full rights to use this, the template, the step-by-step -step directions, everything, um, if you become part of Paint Party Headquarters. Now, Paint Party Headquarters is not open until September 15th. And we will not open to the public again until May of 2020. I know, seems like forever. It kind of is, it's almost a year. So it's gonna be a long time before we're open again. So make sure if you are interested in learning about teaching paint parties, and you wanna start maybe teach a few paint parties, then make sure you um, set your calendar for September 15th. And so you can see who wins this. And I'll tell you kind of um, what I will teach you, how you can go from a hopeful artist to a money-making artist. But first I wanna show you this bow. Okay, so all I did was get some burlap, cheap burlap, and then all I do is take this. Oh, and did, did y'all get a, um, a link? I wanna see if my bot's working. Sometimes I just don't know if those Facebook bots work. So if you could, just let me know in the comments if you did automatically get a link, if it went through. Um, let's see, I wanna grow my existing painting business. Oh my gosh, Connie, I am so excited then. If you are wanting to start a paint party business or growing a paint party business, guys, Paint Party Headquarters is the place to be because here's the thing, marketing is, I'd say, I'm gonna go out there and y'all are probably gonna hate me for this, I'm gonna say 90% of this gig is knowing how to market. You can be the best painter in the world. You can be the best door hanger painter in the world. You can be the best whatever. You can be the best wreath maker. You can be the best sewer. But if you don't know how to get your parties booked, if you don't know how to do all of those things, 
um, then you're gonna miss out. So today, who got the email today on the Paint Party Revolution series? It got released today. Was there any of y'all that watched that? Yes, marketing is key. Oh, Tracy, yay. Yeah, she says, I want the planner, I know. It is so beautiful. I don't even wanna write in it. Like, I know it's made to be written in, which Paint Party Headquarters, you're gonna get the e-version next week um, as part of just being a part of Paint Party Headquarters. And then um, I'll figure out how much if you want the printed version. But yeah, tracking, oh my gosh, this alone. Do you know how many times I've put this on a big old notepad? Like just the tracking of who I've contacted. Um, because a lot of times paint parties is about just repeating your same customers every year. And I think sometimes we get so stuck by that. Um, ideas by season. So you can kind of write down your ideas because I always tell people you only need a few good ideas. Um, I got the email. Oh good, it's working. Who is that? Connie, thank you for letting me know. Um, Bunny, I can't wait to get the planner. Yes, Paint Party Headquarters gets it first. Um, expense tracker, okay, this is big. Um, income tracker. How many times, if you're out there teaching paint parties, that you've done paint parties and then all of a sudden you don't know where your money went. You're like, I just taught 20 people at $40 a pop. I should have made you know, $800 before expenses, but now I can't find it. Like, where did it go? Okay, so I'll tell you a few years ago, I had taught so many paint parties during a like fall Christmas time. And I remember in three weeks, I taught, I made over $12,000 in just three weeks teaching paint parties. Now, I'm not saying that's what you'll do because I'm kind of a crazy person. Um, <laughs> I like to, my husband actually, he was having back surgery. He was gonna be out of work. I had quit teaching full time. So I'd already like, you know, taken that risk to, to just teach part time and do these paint parties. And honestly, I was trying to prove to myself that I could do it. So I booked parties like a mad woman. And so I would remember thinking like, oh my gosh, like, you know, we just made 12 grand in three weeks. And it was amazing, but then it was like, yeah, we can have anything we want for Christmas. Like, have you ever had that where like you get a bunch of money in and you're like, Christmas for everybody. Like, that's what happened to me. And then I was like, oh crap, like January. It's not as, not as popular in January. <laughs> like people don't come out of hibernation for a little bit. So, so now I have to know like, okay, where's my income, my party, my profit, and I can track all of that. Oh, thank y'all for sharing. Yeah, if y'all have anybody that you think might be interested in possibly winning this. Um, responsibilities for helpers, supply list. I'm not gonna show y'all everything because I don't want y'all to, I want y'all to be surprised on some of it. But here's one of my favorite parts of the book, okay? It says, nailed it, failed it. Now, the reason why this is one of my favorite parts, it says, failing is a big part of success. If you don't have failure, you will never experience success. Use this page to write down three failures that have led you to three successes. Honor these. They will keep getting you to the place you want if you are brave enough to fail, okay? I want you to hear that. Honor your failures because that's what's gonna get you over that hump. And um, so those of y'all that want a chance to win this, a printed copy, just go ahead and put a comment in this comment thread and then you're gonna get a message where you can enter to win this. Um, the reason I love that so much is because I was on a call today and somebody said, yeah, I've been doing Facebook Lives for six months, so I just decided to quit and not do them. Um, and I thought, she said, oh, it wasn't really working for me. And my heart broke because I've been doing Facebook Live since they started in 2016, when they basically allowed us to start doing Facebook Lives. I mean, it was just my mom and my grandma. Um, and even now, you know, sometimes, like right now, there's, you know, so many people on here, but what happens is the replay will happen. And then by the end of the night, there'll be a thousand people that have watched it. Um, and so if I would have just been like, eh, it didn't work for me and just gave up after six months and um, I wouldn't be talking to you today about paint parties I wouldn't be sure you know sharing this really cool snowman that you can teach at your parties I wouldn't be sharing the truck and tree which pretty much paid for everybody in paint party headquarters that was doing parties paid for their Christmases because it was so popular last year and um, I definitely would have never had the courage to create a paint party business planner so you just never know where things are gonna go. Um, so you might be you know, just starting out, but you just don't know where it's gonna go. 
Okay, so I'm gonna make a bow for this. What I do, again, I am not like a bow maker. So here's what I do. I bring a ton of ribbon to my parties. I let the ladies go crazy because what I have found out is those ladies know way more about bows than I do. And so usually we have one or two that are like superstar bow makers. And then what I do is I show mine. So I basically take two pieces of burlap or any kind of wired. I just do it an X like this. Then I take just a couple of different pieces. So I have like a, maybe I have a green piece. Maybe I want this black and white piece, but I'm gonna take it. So those of y'all that are bow makers, I just wanna apologize in advance because you are about to cringe with my skills. But again, I don't emphasize a lot of detail on bow making at a paint party because if I do all that, like I do a massive huge bow, I have cut my pro my profits way down. So I might have been making 30, $30 a, a painter, you know, charging 40, making 30 a painter. Now I've cut my profits down about five bucks if I have them make these massive bows. Yes, some will make it and it's okay. But if I'm sitting there teaching this massive bow and using half a thing of ribbon, then now I've cut my profits down. So what I do is I just kind of teach a basic bow. So now I just put a green one in I put some different colors. Um, I think I might take the green out. Let me see, green out. No, I'm gonna take the red out. Yes, okay, I don't want the red. So just kind of look at it with your idea. So now I'm gonna do the cross, the little um, X. I'm gonna do the black and white like this. Actually, I'm gonna do another cross, little X. So I have two X's. Sorry y'all, I was thinking in my head how I wanted it. And now I'm gonna do the black and white in the middle. So all you do is once you have it like that, you just cinch it. So once you cinch it, then I'm gonna take just a piece of jute string and I'm gonna just tie it. So I'm holding it, I'm tying it tight, and then I'm just gonna do a double knot. And then now I can hold it up and move it around. So now if I want a little bit more to the right, to the left, however I want that, and then I'll take it again, the jute string, and I'll show you how I'm gonna attach it to the snowman. And I'm gonna tie it again, now that I have it how I want it, and then double knot it again. So for those of y'all that are super bow makers, I know you're cringing because it is very, a very elementary style of bow making. However, you'll see, it still looks cute. So now I can take it and I can put it on this side of his hat. I can put it over on this side of his hat, wherever my, which one do y'all like? Is that one good? I think right there is good. And then I'll take more jute string, so you don't have to be like totally crazy with a bunch of string. And I usually get my ribbon from Walmart or the dollar store. And then I'm just gonna put this in here and I'm just tying it. And again, if you want the template for this and the rights to use this as a, at a paint party, set your calendar. September 15th, we already have this in. A guest, um, guest painter came in and did this one for us. Um, you can see it behind me on canvas. That's how it looks on canvas. And then I went ahead and made it into a door hanger. Um, but you will have rights to this when, the, I mean, as soon as you sign up on September 15th, and you'll have rights to that. In addition to, you'll get a copy of the Paint Party Business Planner, um, the e-version, and then you can, if you wanna purchase. But I'm not gonna sell the planner to anybody unless they're in Paint Party Headquarters. That's gonna be exclusively for Paint Party Headquarters unless you win, which will be announced on September 15th. So, so now I have like my little string, which I can put a wreath behind this if I want. And now all I'm gonna do is just take this, I can make this go down if I want and have it, or I can just wrap this back around it. And then I just take it, let me kind of show y'all. Can y'all see that? I just take it and just put it in there. It's nothing major. And then I always tell the girls, and this goes on the other side, I always tell the girls if they want to spray it with the polyurethane, they can spray it at home with like a um, $10 thing of polyurethane. I don't bring polyurethane to my parties because 
it takes about an hour to dry and I want and it gets all sticky and the smells really bad and a lot of times we're in a restaurant or a church all right so then I bring it to there and now I have this cute little bow and I can put a wreath behind it okay so now I can just and sometimes too I'll also actually use hot glue and I'll put glue and, and tack those little pieces down and then I can get like a really big wreath and I'll put a wreath behind it and then I'll just hang it up like that for for the um, paint party okay so um, that's how you do a bow now I want to really quick just talk about um kind of like what I know sometimes like we say let me see if y'all can still see that can y'all still see that sucker this art table is a disaster I apologize <laughs> um okay so I wanted to talk to you really quick about um just kind of like a, su a success path of an artist a crafter so I wanted to share with you um, kind of the five stages, and I want you to tell me what stage you're in, okay? So stage one, I'm gonna read these off to you, is the hopeful artist. Um, maybe you have a strong desire to learn more about painting. You may or may not have any experience. You know the power of art heals, and you believe God is the ultimate artist, okay? That's stage one. If you'll put in the comments what stage you're on. Stage two. You're a dreaming artist. You're dreaming of what life could look like with more time to create. You're imagining the possibility of owning your own business and you're excited about having some control over your schedule. Anybody in that boat? I know I was. Um, stage number three, confident artist. You're painting at least once a month. You're proud of your art. You know all the managers of the local craft store. They usually know you by name. Sometimes they know your dog's name. Um, they all know Blue's name at mine. Um, they, you want to paint everything, even if you're doing it for free. Anybody out there, stage three, where you're just painting everything for free? Um, and you feel a sense of belonging to a community. That's the confident artist. Um, the techie artist. You are comfortable posting on social media. You love doing Facebook Live, showing new techniques. You're eager to create marketing materials. You love showing others online what you love to do. Um, and you understand the power of Facebook for your paint parties. That's, um, that's stage number four, the techie artist. And then stage number five, this is where I really, I mean, I of course strive to get you through every stage, but stage five is where I, I want to get you and just really help you. And um, stage five, you're making money teaching paint parties. You are excited to see money in the bank. You understand all the ins and outs of making a paint party successful, and you know how to rinse and repeat the process. So tell me in here what stage you're at. A lot of you in paint party headquarters already, if you're not in there yet, are at the money-making stage. And you can see I have a coming up to stage six, what's next? And I'm not gonna tell you about that yet. That's something that is coming in January. But my goal for you is to kind of help you get through that hopeful stage, that dreaming stage, that confident stage, that techie stage, and eventually all the way to a money-making artist where you know how to rinse and repeat and keep doing it. I see a lot of y'all saying stage two, stage three and stage four, and stage five, thanks to Heidi. <laughs> well, you're very welcome. Um, so here's the thing, guys. I just wanted to really quick you know, share with you if you want a chance to win, it's just seriously got I got it in the mail today this has been months in the planning and um, the perfect paint party business planner if you want a chance to win this I'm going to be announcing the winner on a Facebook live on September 15th at 7 p.m. Central so if you want a chance to win this you just need to comment in this Facebook live there's going to be a little auto robot whatever you call them that's going to send you a link that you can sign up for a chance to win and um, please share this if you have a friend that may be interested in this and then if you are in paint party headquarters don't worry paint party headquarters next week you are getting the ebook version of this right away you can print it put it together and then i'll also give you a way that you can purchase it as a um book and um, i'm only allowing people in paint party headquarters to have access to this exclusively 
So if you're like, oh my gosh, I've got to have rights to that snowman, and I've got to have rights to that truck, I want the tutorials, I want the planner, then guys, set your alarm for September 15th because that is where all the magic happens. That's where all the goodness happens. So um, I just wanna say thank y'all. Those of you that have already watched the first video of Paint Party Revolution, that came out today. So if you have not seen it yet, Go check your email, it just came out today, and if you missed it for some reason, and you should get an email tomorrow that says don't forget to watch it, because those three videos, this is a three-part video series, I only release the videos for about six to seven days, and then they go away. They go into the vault at Paint Party Headquarters, and I don't keep them out in the public. So if you want a chance to watch those free videos to get a ton of information in a very short amount of time, um, you are going to love these. And I remember when I released the second video um, back in May, oh my gosh, there was one lady that I think she had scheduled like 17 parties or something. And I'm like, you've got to stop scheduling parties. Like wait for video number three. I know you're really good at number two now, but wait for video number three so that you can start getting butts in the seat because nothing matters if you don't have prepaid painters. And that's where I love, love helping you do all of that, just getting you um, that information and helping you out through that way. So anyway, um, again, share this if you have a friend that's interested. And I will be headed to Florida tomorrow. So I'm going to be in and out on live, so I won't be um, around too much on the lives, but I wanted to do this before we headed out to Florida. And I will see y'all in soon, probably on Monday. All right, bye guys.